In this video, I'll show you how to zip and unzip files on Windows PC without using any extra applications outside what comes shipped with Windows. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time checking out my video tutorials, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends if you get any value from the video. Let's begin zipping our files. So on the screen I have three files and these are Camtasia recordings and uh, sometimes Camtasia recordings get really big and uh, that applies for also other files, PDFs, audio files, video files, etc. One easy way that you can save space on your computer or even when you're sending files to somebody else is by compressing the files. So what you need to do here is that, for example, we'll try and zip this one file. So to zip this particular file, all you need to do is just click on it, right click, and then click on send to. There is compressed zip folder and just click on that. Once you click on that, the file is going to start being zipped and you'll see a new file that appears here. It's the, the compressed file of that particular file that I just displayed to you. Now, it really takes a short time to do this depending on your resources and the size of the file. So the file has already completed. We can call it a compressed file, compressed Camtasia file. And uh, you can notice that the file that was 80 MB is now 49 MB. That's a pretty good size uh, to get once you compress a file. But what if you wanted to compress these three files? What you need to do is just select all of them by clicking on the first file and then holding shift and clicking again or just dragging uh, by holding the left click so that you can highlight all the files. Once you do that, then you right click on just one file, navigate to the send to and click on compressed zipped folder. Uh, this process also takes a long or a short time. And as I have mentioned, there's a new folder that has been formed there that is going to compress our files. And uh, as you can notice, our files are pretty large, so we can just click back here. Uh, the three files are about 273 MB. And the process is still continuing, but you can notice that for files that are 273 MB, the output size that we'll get at the end, you'll notice that it is smaller than what we have. And this can help you save space and also help you reduce on the bandwidth you use to send the files to somebody else because when they extract the files on their side, the files are going to remain the original size without any loss of information. So the file is almost done. And as I've mentioned, depending on the resources of your computer, it may take a short or a long time. And also the file sizes that are being compressed, uh, that really influences how long it's going to take, but it is something that will save you space. So it's completed and it's 193 MB. You also need to rename this and we can call it three Camtasia files. So those are compressed. So we can just delete all these other files. Just click on delete and click on yes. And we now have our zipped files uh, intact. So this is just a sample for one file. And this is a sample for all the three files. So to extract or unzip the files, you can right click on this particular file and click on open a new window. Now, the reason why you can do this is because when you click on open a new window, you will see the file that is zipped. So this file is zipped. And if you maximize this, you'll notice that uh, the type is a TechSmith recording, compressed, it has no password, the size of this file, not the compressed file, and the ratio of compression is 39% and the date it was modified. We can just minimize it slightly. Now, what we need to do is we need to extract it to this folder where this file was. So you can just click on it and drag and drop it into this particular folder. And it's going to extract in its entirety and the original size that it was. We had an 80 MB file and that is what we have. Now what we'll do for this one is that I'll just highlight both of these files. Since the, this file is contained in these three files and delete. Once I delete, what we'll need to do is come to three Camtasia zipped files. I want us to extract in another way and we can right click on it and click on extract all. Once I do that, we'll get uh, the option to select a destination and extract the files. So you can either decide to leave it as three Camtasia files and this will create a new folder for the files to be located in, or I can just uh, remove the three Camtasia files 
and leave it as uh, how to uh, how to zip and unzip files on Windows PC, uh, this particular folder, so that they can come and unzip in this particular section. Now, once uh, you do that, you can also browse to a different folder that you want to extract them to. Once you do that, you can either decide to show extracted files when completed, but I will leave that as an unchecked and then click on extract. Now, once I do that, you'll notice that the files start coming in. And as I mentioned, this is faster than compressing. Extracting is faster than compressing uh, the files. So there we have it. The files have been extracted or unzipped back where they were. So these are the three files, 273 MB. This is a zipped three files, 193 MB. So basically what we've done in this video is that we have zipped and unzipped three files showing you how it works the size and the space that you save and we've not opened this file we can just open and we can see the ratios of compression how they look like so for this big file is 22 percent 39 36 so all in all what i'm trying to say is that you'll save space on your computer by zipping video recordings audio files images that are in huge sizes by just compressing the files so i hope this video is going to be beneficial to you and if it solves a problem for you, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, stay safe.